Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can use exponents or powers in the Casio FX 9750 G3 calculator. To do that we'll use the menu key that looks like this located here, the exe or execute key that looks like this located down here, the x squared key that looks like this located here, the up arrow or caret key that looks like this located here, the negative key that looks like this located down here, and the fraction key that looks like this located here. When we first turn on our calculator, we're usually in the main menu here. If we're not in the main menu, for example, if we're in the stats mode, we can get to the main menu by pressing the menu key. Now to use exponents, we want to use the run mode. That's this one here. So we can scroll over, highlight that, and then press the exe key. Now we can use our exponents. Let's say we wanted to find 5 squared or 5 to the power of 2. To do that, first we enter our 5, and then we press the x squared key. That puts a 2 in our exponent position, and if we press exe, we get the result of 25. So 5 squared is equal to 25, which is correct. What if we have an exponent that isn't a 2? Well, to do that, we can use the up arrow or caret key. So for example, if we had 5 to the power of 4, we would do that by first putting the 5 on the screen, and then pressing the up arrow key, and that gives us a box there where we can enter our exponent. So our exponent is 4, so we press 4, and then the exe key, and we get a result of 625, which is correct. What if we have a negative exponent? Well, to do that, we can again use the caret key. So we have 5 to the power of negative 2. We start with the 5, and then the up arrow or caret key. And then we want to use the negative key down here, not the subtraction key, this negative 1 in brackets. So we press that to get our negative sign, and then 2, and press exe, and we get 0 0.04 which is correct. What if we have a fraction in the exponent position? Like for example, four to the power of one half or one over two. To do that, we use the caret key again and the fraction key. So we start with entering our four and then the up arrow or caret key. There's our exponent box. And then we can press the fraction key. That gives us two boxes as a fraction. So we have 1 over 2, so we go 1, scroll down, 2. There we have 1 over 2 on our exponent position, and we can press exe, and we get a result of 2. So 4 to the power of 1 half is equal to 2, which is correct. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.